Happy New Year, Sagittarius! This is going to be your general love reading for January 2022 and it is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Sagittarius. And as always, it is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But of course, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading if you would like. All that information is in the description box. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, let's see what is going on with Sagittarius for the first half of January. All right, we have commitment. Okay, so it could be that things are moving to the next level. There is a commitment um, that is being solidified. Let's see. It's looking pretty good for the general message here, but let's see. Sagittarius. for the first couple of weeks of January. All right, so for the situation, we have the Eight of Swords crossed by the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, so it could feel like things are a little bit stuck at the moment or that it just feels like there's no way of working something out with somebody. There's no way for things to progress. Maybe it feels like things are just progressing very, very slowly. Um, and that's kind of keeping you or them stuck in their headspace, just overanalyzing things, just really not knowing how to move forward with this connection. Let's see, for you, we have moving from past to present to future, we have the Emperor, the Nine of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. All right, okay, so things are definitely going to shift. I do see you possibly having been in this position where you were just really trying to hmm, either control the situation maybe a little bit or just really trying to find your own sense of power and control for yourself, but somehow in relation to this connection. And I feel like that, that, that didn't really work out because currently there's this Nine of Swords energy where you're not feeling too great. Um, a lot of mental anguish again just feeling possibly some overanalyzing the situation or just not being able to stop thinking about it and what's going on and it's not feeling really great but again we do have the wheel of fortune so things are going to shift here for you let's see for them in the recent past we have the five of cups current energy the two of swords near future the eight of cups and potential outcome here, we have the Seven of Cups. All right, interesting, because we do have that commitment here showing up, right? So this could all be talking about really coming into this commitment. Let's see, so... I feel like this person was depressed or just really feeling some kind of kind of a loss feeling pessimistic possibly also being very passive in the recent past um we'll see but there seems to be a lot of grief here while you were trying to take charge um currently i feel like they're confused there's some confusion here there's a little bit of really not knowing what to do, possibly maybe even a little bit of denial. In the near future though, I do see them walking away from whatever it is that doesn't serve them. That does not necessarily mean this connection, it just means moving away from this past energy. So this is actually coming in as something positive. Making the decision to leave something in the past. Because this Five of Cups, which is in the past, it could even be talking about this person not having been able to release something from their past. There may have been some guilt that was involved. So whatever that is, and that could have been causing confusion. So whatever that is, I see them moving away from that. Detaching emotionally from whatever it is that was keeping them in this depressed type of a state. For the potential outcome though, I mean, even though we do have this commitment that's like, you know, lurking here, 
and surrounding this, all of this that's happening, it feels like there, there might still be some confusion, although I do see options being weighed out, like trying to find the best alternative in order for there to be some kind of a resolution. So let's get into the details, let's clarify. It's feeling a little complicated. Not gonna lie, Sachi. Let's see. So, Eight of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles. All right, we have the Sun, the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. So this is interesting because all these three cards are very, very positive. So I feel like, you know, there was this um, potential for happiness. Somebody was trying to move in that direction of having happiness here. It's like you both felt like there was this mutual um, feeling that this can actually be like a happily ever after, like a fairy tale type of a connection here. But either there was some fear, something was, um, there was either some kind of a fear of giving to this or a fear of the future is the way it's coming in. The fear of the future, what this might lead to. Really interesting. Um, so I do feel like somebody has really been holding back or just not wanting to give fairly to this. So somebody was giving more. More than the other. Alright, let's see that ember for your energy. Which was the past. We have the Ace of Swords and we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so this is coming in like, so I don't know who it is that was afraid of giving and either way the roles can be reversed regardless, but the energy that I'm seeing for you up here, if this is you, is that it's like a little bit of being defensive but also being offensive. So. It feels like, you know, there was something that may have happened. Maybe this person did something or was, you know, engaging in some kind of behavior. Maybe it's not even really about them. I don't know. But it feels like you were either trying to maintain some kind of control within your own self. And the way that that actually came out was it may have appeared to be a little bit aggressive, maybe. Just a really strong presence of really um, defending yourself, but in a way where it was also like, it may have felt a little bit offensive as well. Like you really wanting something, for example, and defending it all the way for what it is that you want. Like, you know, a very strong energy here. Very, very strong. See that Nine of Swords. And I'm, I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, you know, I mean, I don't know what this person may have done or, you know, what the situation is. And again, roles can be reversed. That's just what it feels like your energy was in the past. All right, so currently for the Nine of Swords, we have Temperance and we have the King of Swords. Okay, so it does feel like you're balancing out um, whatever that past energy was. It it feels like it's still, it still feels like you're in your head about it though. Like this is something that is concerning you a lot and it could be, you know, really just making you feel like, like things can never be what you would want them to be. Because it's almost like you have this very set way that you would want things to be. 
And because things are not that way, it's really stressful for you at the moment. But again, I do feel like there's some kind of um, inner balance. Like you're, you're learning how to fully embrace what the situation is as well as your own self. And so I feel like, you know, whatever this was in the past, it's like you're learning how to, um, how to keep that more balanced rather than allowing more extreme emotions to play out. I mean, don't get me wrong, your emotions are your emotions, you know, and you should feel them to their fullest, allow yourself to feel them. But the way that they play out, meaning as in, um, in your attitude or in your behavior, or in how you allow it to affect you. And again, it's okay. The whole point is learning from that to the point where you don't get such extreme kind of reactions. Because all of this could have just been one big trigger, for example. All right, let's see for them. Let's see the Five of Cups in their recent past. We have the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Swords. What had happened here? Okay, so for some of you, it could be that this person um, took some action towards something that they thought they wanted only to regret it. And for others of you, it could have been something, something selfish as well. Whatever that is, I do see some regret here. Um, possibly even guilt. Just not feeling very good. Feeling very um, upset about a certain action that was taken here. Either by you or by their own self. I'm seeing it as it being by their own self, but of course it could, it could go the other way. Um, Their current energy, which and that could have been what triggered you, right, to to act in a more aggressive or defensive way. So let's see this two of swords. We have the six of wands and the nine of pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, it does feel like this person currently is, um, they're allowing their ego to kind of get in the way of what it is that they want to do here or what, or what, what it is that they're feeling because they're definitely feeling this regret, right? They're feeling some kind of guilt here for some kind of action that was taken that may have been a little bit selfish. There's ego though here and I feel like this person is trying to kind of maintain their sense of independence, a little bit of denial maybe, but it's not denial to their own self. I feel like it's more of a denial on the outside so, so that other people won't see them as weak or as having done something wrong or whatever the case is. So it's more of I'm denying this on the, you know, to the outside because I want to maintain a certain appearance, but deep down I'm actually feeling very sad and very um, remorseful of whatever it is that happened. Let's see the Wheel of Fortune for what is coming up for you. <laughs> Interesting. The Seven of Cups, which is what we have here. Yeah, so there's definitely a shift here, okay? That's what, <laughs> that's what Spirit is trying to say here. And you don't need to know all the details, but know that the wheel is turning. There's definitely a shift that is moving you towards 
I feel you're going to have some options here. Like things are going to be, you know, up to you basically to decide what it is that you want. And I also feel like you're, you're moving away. Things are shifting away from whatever it is that may have been an illusion for you. Like whatever it is that you were not able to see clearly, now you will be able to see clearly. And that's actually helping you in a very positive way. Let's see the Eight of Cups for them. The Queen of Swords. <laughs> so they're able to see things uh, clearly as well. And Justice. Okay, yeah, see, so this is what I was saying before. They're moving in a very positive direction. Um, moving away from this, I, f I feel like it's making excuses basically, this denial here. I feel like they're just coming up with like a whole bunch of excuses um, just because they're worried about how they're gonna look it's their ego, basically. I see them cutting through that, cutting th through the bullshit of their own ego and pretty much trying to make things right. Trying to be fair, trying to be honest. So walking away from that dishonesty of excuse making and pretty much um, owning up to whatever it is that is really going on here or whatever it is that happened. All right, let's see Seven of Cups. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords and we have the King of Cups. So definitely things moving, as I said, in a new direction here. I feel like there's definitely going to be some alternatives, some options. I feel like you're the one who's going to be faced with those. I do see that I feel like this King of Cups is this um, person here. Um, which did we, what signs did we get here? Um, we definitely have Libra showing up. Um, I don't feel like anything else is particularly standing out to me. We do have Leo, we do have Sagittarius. Yeah, and as well as water signs here. Okay, so I do see this person, again, with that Six of Swords, it's similar to the Eight of Cups, moving away from that conflict, wanting to bring peace, wanting to bring peace, um, coming from a place of love, and then again, I feel like it's going to be up to you here. Like there's, it's, you have these options of how to move forward. I do feel like this person is going to want to um, explore different alternatives for how the two of you can move forward because they do want this commitment. So yeah, Sagittarius, that is what I got for you here. So if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. See, Saggy. And we have the new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. So yeah, first of all, I feel like know that you are safe even if you don't have your <laughs> defense mechanisms up and running um, as you may have in the past. This person is beginning to feel safe, exposing their self rather than these excuses. And for some of you, this might just be a random message that you needed to hear. So that is it, Sagittarius. Those were your messages. And I thank you so much for watching. Much love.